Hi everybody and uh, welcome to this uh, CNC machine tending UR cap demo. So I wanted to take a few minutes to show you uh, the latest update on the uh, machine tending UR cap. So uh, I'm gonna walk through the different step to uh, actually operate this UR cap. So once you insert the machine tending node, you can go into the configuration screen where we're going to be able to uh, select if you're using a lathe or a milling machine or either if you're using a single or a dual gripper setup. So in that situation we're using a lathe machine and a dual setup. So I'm going to generate the program and what you need to know is that the program is split into uh, two different sections. The top section is uh, the execution where uh, all the well where, where basically the program is executed and the bottom part it's what we call the macro list it's basically uh, uh, where we're gonna teach the action of the robot in each macro uh, so for example pick blank is a, a macro in each of them you will have a smart move uh, motion and a specific action to the macro. So if I go back into the machine tending node, since we have done the configuration, we can go into the smart move, and then we're gonna be able to set a few waypoints in the cell that we call key waypoints. They are already uh, defined, so you can see here above and feed, above work holding, etc and we are also gonna set the uh, smart move map which is basically uh, the the way between uh, the different key waypoints so for the demo we're gonna stick to the first uh, key waypoint so above in feed so this is basically uh, where my robot is right now so i'm gonna set this waypoint and then i'm gonna start recording uh, to teach the robot where it can go in the cell so over here can come until the first part the last part and then it can go inside the machine just like that there you go gonna stop the active drive stop the recording and set the waypoint as the above work holding key waypoint. And just to make sure that um, these, these key waypoints uh, are uh, okay for the robot to move from one to another, uh, we're gonna select the smart move in the macro list. And we're gonna select smart e, uh, sorry, move here. And then uh, move here on the next smart move. So you can see that the robot can uh, move from one key waypoint to another without any problem. So from there, we're gonna go into the part feeding node. And again, for the demo, I'm just gonna use this single position. So here I'm gonna set an approach waypoint somewhere around here. Then I'm gonna set a, a, a waypoint where I'm gonna uh, take my first part. So somewhere around here, I'm gonna close the gripper on the part and then uh, keep using the active drive to uh, push the part correctly. Stop the active drive, set my position and then uh, after that, I will insert a gripper open node in the uh, approach position. So open, save action, and then at part uh, waypoint. This is uh, basically where my robot at is at right now. So I'm gonna use an open, uh, sorry, a closed gripper so the so that the gripper can grasp the part correctly. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's it for the part feeding. And then I wanna move inside the machine. So I'm gonna use the smart move here, click on move here. And then path, we're inside the machine. 
then I'm gonna use the load part um, node I'm gonna select an output that I have already uh, name open chucked and uh, another output to close the chuck that I've called close chuck so this way we can operate the work holding uh, inside the machine then I'm gonna set the um, final final waypoint that is basically the waypoint where I want my part to be at the end well not at the end but when I want the part to be when it's gonna be machine so I'm gonna insert it into the work holding here a few inches that's it uh, I'm gonna set my position and then I'm gonna use the active drive in three degrees of freedom to set my approach uh, position so it can be uh, just a few inches in front of the work holding all right and then at a uh, final waypoint what I'm gonna insert oops sorry what I'm gonna insert here is a gripper node so I'm gonna open the gripper because we want uh, to leave the part inside the machine and then start the machine so uh, I'm gonna hide the rest of the program so that I can show it to you how uh, everything is working And obviously, uh, I'm gonna hide the exact same node in the uh, execution part of the program. So what we have here is basically just the uh, call pick blank. So the robot's gonna come here, pick the blank, go inside the machine and insert it inside the work holding. So, I'm gonna press play so the robot follows the smart move map go take the first part go inside the machine still following the smart move map and then it's going to insert the part inside the machine close the work holding open the gripper and then stop there so uh, if you already program such uh, application you know that just to go there it's uh, way longer than, than this so uh, so yeah it's uh, it's very simple very uh, easy to use also super fast to use so for a first time user uh, it's super easy if you're an expert uh, it's also really easy to use and uh, the program tree doesn't restrain you uh, in any way so you can add any node that you want inside the program tree uh, you can modify everything you can uh, change the order so there's a, a lot of things that you can do with that uh, with that template and uh, I just wanted to show you the the rest of the of the UR cap so again uh, in the macro list uh, when you go into a macro you always you always have the smart move uh, so this is where uh, the robot's gonna move to this uh, specific key waypoint and then you're gonna do a specific action so in this process the next step would be to close the door because the part is already inside the machine so we're gonna set a waypoint at uh, actually when the where the door is open and one waypoint uh, at the end of the of the door stroke uh, and you can manage the the force uh, with this uh, this node then the next step would be to start the program so go into start machine uh, macro and then for this specific action we're gonna use the uh, the button activator the physical button activator and then we're gonna uh, set a, dig a digital io to activate this this button to start the cnc then the next step would be to wait uh, after a signal from the machine uh, to tell the robot that the part is ready to be uh, uh, well the machine is, is ready to be emptied so we're gonna uh, go into the wait for machine macro set the, the 
the smart move and then wait for a light, sig a light signal uh, that we already configure in the uh, installation. To open door is basically the same action uh, than when we, we uh, actually previously we close the door and now we're going to open it because we want to get inside the machine. Once we're inside the machine, we want to clean the part. So uh, we have a few different geometry that you can use. Um, and depending on uh, the part that, uh, that you want to clean, you can use different uh, shapes. Then we're going to remove the part. So we're going to use the unload part node and then clean the work holding with the cleaning node. So the exact same node, but just at a different step in the process and then place part, uh, it's basically to place back the part into the uh, uh, part ordering system or either in a bin or, or whatever you choose to use. So again, uh, very simple, very easy to use, very fast also to, to program. What you need to keep in mind is that when you insert the machine tending uh, you are cap you have the configuration that you need to do first to generate your program tree and then if you go in, into the smart move you need to set all your key waypoint inside the machine then set your smart move map so that each waypoint are connected uh, with each other and then after that you can start to teach each specific action uh, of your program so that's it for now uh, Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.